The Trojan football team headed into Veterans Memorial Stadium on Saturday to face the nationally ranked Louisiana Ragin' Cajuns. The team hoped to continue their momentum after a big rivalry win last Saturday in the battle for the belt. Gunnar Watson would open the scoring with a 10-yard scramble, giving Troy the early lead. However, Louisiana would quickly respond with a 15-yard touchdown snag. The Ragin' Cajuns would score another touchdown near the end of the first quarter on a 52-yard toss, but the Trojans tacked on two field goals to bring the halftime score to 13-14. In the second half, however, the floodgates opened for the visitors. No, it's, it, it's disappointing the way we came out in third quarter. It's, you know, got, you know <clears throat> coaches get a lot of credit sometimes and a lot of blame, but you know, at the end of the day, your players, you, you know, we have to get our players to play better coming out of the half. It's not really about the X and O as much as, you know, we, I don't know what, I don't know, I can't describe it. The Trojans would get outscored 21 to seven in the second half, giving up two touchdowns in the third quarter. The Trojans tried to climb back into the game by scoring a seven yard touchdown pass to Tez Johnson in the fourth quarter, but a late Louisiana touchdown and a few costly turnovers sealed the game as a 35 to 21 loss for the Trojans. Uh, you know, hats off to them. You know, I wouldn't say they're that much better than us. I would say they executed their game plan uh, to a T this game, and we made some costly mistakes, and we just have to, you know, cut those out in the future. The Trojans now turn their attention to their senior night game this weekend versus App State at home. Simon Schusler, Troy, Trojan Vision Sports.